there welcome to my channel my name is Linda I'm so glad you can share some time with me today I hope I've come up with some great inspiration for you what are we waiting for let's get crafting today we'll be working on a DIY paper crafting project for spring home decor focusing on using product from renebokays.com so let's get started so what I'm starting here, this is uh, an actual home decor piece. I picked up Hobby Lobby on clearance. I'm just taking all the hardware off the back. And then I'm gonna go ahead and trace around it, front and back. And I'll do that to all my other wood pieces as well. Now for the front, I want a little bit at the perimeter of that sign to show. And so what I'm doing, and I'll do this on my other wood pieces too, is I'm going in about an eighth of an inch and I'm drawing a new pattern. And then that's what I'm going to cut out. I'll show you that here in just a second. This is what it looks like. Cut that out. These are the wood pieces I'm going to be using. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go in and trace like this rectangle piece on this cute pink paper. And then I'll chase the square on this cute little dot, dotted card stock. And then I think that I do, yes, the circle on this lighter cream color. And then I go in about an eighth of an inch on like the circle, draw a new pattern, cut it out. On my wood pieces, I cut the main pattern out. And then now I'm going back in and trimming off about a quarter inch, or not a quarter inch, eighth inch on all the sides. So the little perimeter of that wood will show. I just think that adds a nice little bit of texture uh, to the project and kind of helps differentiate between the layers. And you could skip this part if you wanted to cover the whole piece of wood or whatever you're doing, uh, sign or whatever, that's perfectly fine. Now this is a Renable K Beautiful Board laser cut chipboard. It is a stackable heart ATC tag. It comes with two tags and two little hearts. I'm just you know, marking my paper and cutting it an eighth of an inch short as well. So a little bit of perimeter of this tag will show. And now I'm going around, I'm just gonna show you one piece here, I'm gonna go around the rest off camera and I like to sew around the perimeter of all my pieces. I sew right directly on the paper. As you can see here, I use like a 10 or 11 needle depending on the brand. I have my tension set on four and it's on just the longest stitch. I think my longest stitch length goes to a four so it's on a four polyester thread because my machine doesn't like all cotton. It makes the stitches all loose and wonky. So all polyester thread works wonderful. But I like it because it's just a subtle texture. A lot of times my thread really blends in so it's real subtle to see and sometimes I'll use a real nice contrasting thread. But this is what it'll look like on all my papers. And now I like to go around the edges of all my papers as well with the open end of my scissor blades and scrape along the edges. And you can see the difference between the smaller and the larger sheet, scraped and not scraped. I just think that adds that little bit more of a rustic farmhouse feel to it but you could not do it if you don't want to, of course. But again, this will kind of help differentiate between the layers. So I'll just show a little bit of it. Now we're gonna skip ahead. I'm gonna use Dixie Belle chalk paint in the color drop cloth, and I'm gonna paint all around the sides of my wood and about a half inch along on the front and back. I do that a couple of layers to make sure I get this darker edge covered and stuff like that. Nice painted layer. Just show a little bit and we'll move on. Before we move on, I want to take a moment to introduce myself. My name is Linda, and if you're new to my channel, I love all sorts of crafts. I've been a crafter for years. I love to do DIY home decor crafts from farmhouse to rustic to primitive and paper crafts and a little bit of everything in between. I post videos once a week, so make sure you go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on a single thing. I'm also on Instagram. Pop on over and say hi. And if you're looking for a little bit more inspiration, I do have a Facebook group. The link will be in the description box to both my Instagram and Facebook group. So please come on over and join me. So for my project today, I'll be using my favorite Beacon Fabri-Tac liquid glue. I'm going to go ahead and start gluing down the, all my papers onto my wood pieces. So we've got the front here, leaving that little bit of perimeter. And in the back, I'm going to cover the whole back side on this one. Just wanted to make sure it's all nice and finished off. And then I'll start gluing the rest of my papers, of course, onto my rectangle wood piece, and then onto my square piece, and then onto my oval tag. Getting everything ready to go. 
glue on a little bit onto this Renee Bouquet Beautiful Board ATC tag. And then I'll go ahead and glue the little heart on. Love adding the little heart, just gives it such dimension. Really cute. Let's take a look at the product we'll be using today from Renee Bouquets. This is a set of three. I only have two left of Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard Chain Link Frames. I'll be using the middle frame. There is one smaller. This is Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard Circuit Elements. These are great to cut up in pieces. These are Beautiful Words Sweet as Honey, the medium size. These are single-sided butterfly kisses. The white is called Delicate Beauty and the pink is called Aurora Borealis Pink. These are a set of six decorative clock hands in the medium. Again, beautiful board laser cut chipboard. These are printed beautiful board laser cut chipboard in Sweet Daisy. They're called Tuck It In. So cute to use. These are printed beautiful board laser cut chipboard. The Baby Bunny set. You can see the larger above. I'm using the Itty Bitty set, which comes in three sizes and these ones size I'm using are one and a half inch tall. These are Renee Bouquet Mulberry Flowers in the pink and ivory, the dusty pink, and these last flowers are itty bitty blossoms in the pink. And this is Gaudy Girl German Glitter Glass in the shade Diamond. So let's start putting this together. I'm starting with Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard, the circuit elements, that one big sheet that I've cut up. And now a lot of layering I'm gonna be doing, I have to use some cardboard that I have cut up to make all the layers level. And so I've glued down one piece of cardboard here and then gluing down my rectangular wood piece, adding another piece of the circuit board elements here down at the bottom. And now I'm gonna add one of the frames here, just kind of looking at how I want it to lay. One of the beautiful board set of three chain link frames. And I'm going to glue that down right onto that rectangular piece. And now once I glue that down, there's that whole open center on the left side and this square wood piece is gonna lay into that center. So here's some more cardboard for my supply. I've got four or five layers here. Just kind of looking how that is. You can kind of see how the layers are going to be looking. And I'm going to glue these together to take up the space in the center of that lower left frame there. So that when I glue on my wood piece, it will lay level across that frame. So you'll see me gluing a lot of cardboard pieces together here throughout this project. And it all gets hidden so you don't even know it's there. Cutting another little piece here so it lays level. Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard is about the thickness of a nickel. So whenever you kind of lay anything on it or layer as I'm layering, I often have to use the cardboard to make the next layer sit level across. So that's why I'm doing this because this uh, beautiful board is, like I said, the thickness of a nickel. Good quality, quality chipboard. Sturdy, almost as sturdy as wood. So I'm going to be adding a resin frame here and going to layer that on top of the frame, uh, the square piece there. This frame you can't, um, it's hard to find anymore. It's from my supply, so I'm not even going to mention where I can get it. You can get other resin frames and stuff at like Hobby Lobby and stuff like that. So just laying a couple pieces of cardboard here so that when I go glue this and it lays off the side of that square wood piece, it's got a little bit of sturdiness there. So this is a piece I brought in from Renee Bouquets. This is another printed board, uh, beautiful board laser cut chipboard. It's called Bluebird Frame. I'm using the smaller size layered in here and nobody yell at me what I'm about to do right here. I am covering up the cute little bird. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I wanted the delicate of the roses on the frame. So that's why that little uh, pretty bird got covered up, but you still see the rest of the beautiful frame. Now I'm coming in and adding my little tuck it in daisy. See how they're cute tiny pieces that you can glue and tuck them in just about anywhere. And adding in just a little wood bunny for my supply. This piece is kind of like the story of, you know, new spring garden. Kind of walking through the you know spring garden all the little flowers and bunnies and cute little you know things new life that you're going to see so that's kind of what this uh, project is talking about so i layered down some cardboard there against underneath that bunny so that that blue flower will lay up level and now i'm doing that with the rest of these flowers here these first few flowers here from my supply just kind of gluing them in and layering up on top of each other 
Some of them will get hidden, but they're used for layering so that I can bring up the next levels. Bringing in some of the Rene Bouquet, you know, white flowers with the pink centers and the dusty pink roses. Gonna stop here, add in some quilting thread. I like to do this for a little bit of texture. I just take a bunch off, wind it up, and glue it right on top of the flowers. Then I'm gonna add this other flower for my supply right over it. And then I'll slow this down so you can just see the subtle texture of the thread. You can just see it right there laying over the flowers. Just adds that delicate, subtle beauty to texture to the project. So we'll start layering in some more cardboard here on the lower right so I can add my little oval tag so it lays nice and level because all those wood pieces added a nice thick texture here. Here comes the beautiful words. We're using sweet from that sweet as honey, Renee Bouquet, beautiful words. Adding a piece of cardboard here to my decorative claw can so that it lays level underneath uh, the tag here in between the tag and the resin frame. And then I'm gonna layer another claw can up above. Add in some more of the Renee Bouquet flowers. I layer the claw cans like that so it kind of helps your eye to see, you know, all the things that are tall and wide, kind of that L shape that we're going for, kind of brings your eye a calmness to uh, the project. So adding in some more flowers here. Just a lot of gluing of the flowers, layering a bunch of flowers. I like to add everything in here. We'll end up with the, um, using the Rene Bouquet Itty Bitty Flowers, love those. The darker pink ones, adding in just some tiny, look how tiny some of these flowers are in the Rene Bouquet mini uh, flower sets. Tiny, tiny, look at that. They're perfect for just adding that cuteness to your project. Love layering with flowers. I'm leaving the stems on these itty bitty flowers, as you can see, because it just adds a little more texture to the project. Kind of pokes and sticks out, and I just like that. So I have these stickers I glued onto really thin, thin cereal board cardboard, and I actually sewed right through them and cut them out. And then we'll add this later to that ATC heart tag as kind of our journaling for the project. So here comes that itty bitty bunny. It is so cute. I'm going to just tuck him right into this top flower. Nice and cute. Adding in the uh, butterfly kisses. This is the Aurora Borealis in pink. And this one is the delicate beauty. You know, butterflies in the garden. Here's another uh, sticker I glued on to some cardboard and sewed. And then we're going to add in our journaling. So from the top of the quote that says, whisper to my heart, to the journaling on the ATC card, it says, whisper to my heart, I had a lovely time, the most beautiful thing in the garden. I just thought this quote was really a sweet sentiment that kind of expresses spring for the project we're doing here. So the last thing we're gonna be working on is I'm gonna add some of the Gaudy Girl Glitter Glass and I like to use my medium, my matte medium gel for this 3D matte medium. You could use like a regular liquid glue as long as it dries clear. But for my uh, medium gel, I dip my paintbrush into that and then I paint it onto my project and then I dump on the glitter glass. Off camera, I even added some sequins and some cute little gems. So you're gonna kind of see all that. And then once all this is on, that makes this project complete. So I hope you like how this project turned out. I know it's not your typical paper crafting project. It is a little bit more mixed media and layered, so it's a little bit more stylized for home decor. I just sometimes like to get my paper crafting on, so I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you love how this turned out. Remember, if you're not a subscriber, to go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos from me. And please give this video a thumbs up. It helps my channel to grow. I will have all the products I use from Renee Bouquets down in the description box. There will be links so you can check any of those out, as well as all the links to everything at Renee Bouquets, including the Facebook group and blog where you can find more inspiration using Renee Bouquet product. 
I thank you for sharing your time with me and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.